Klimsoft is a data management system for climatic data. For the purposes of Klimsoft, metadata refers to information about stations, elements, instruments and other objects that help to put the climatic data into context. Station information must be in place before data from that station can be added. This short video demonstrates how to manually enter station information. It's assumed that you have successfully installed Klimsoft and have started the system, logging in as a user with permission to enter and edit metadata. Please see the user guides on installation and on user management for further information on permissions. With the welcome screen displayed, click on the Metadata button. This opens the Add or Modify Metadata dialog, showing the different types of metadata used by Klimsoft and how these metadata types are related. Station element information, which determines which elements are collected at a particular station, links to the station information. Uh, you would not be able to enter details about the elements to be collected at a station if you had not already entered the details for that particular station. Click on the Station button to open the Station, Details and Location dialog. This dialog would show any existing stations together with their current location. For this example, we're starting with an empty database, so there are no stations to display. One thing to notice about this form is that the station details section at the top and the station location section at the bottom are designed to work independently. This means it's possible to show the details for one station while showing the location for a different station both on the same form. When you're using this form, it's important therefore to check that the station ID in the details section is the same as the station ID in the location section. We'll see how this works in practice. We'll start by entering the details for a fictional station called Arin, located in an imaginary country called Limaco. To enter a new record, we first click on Add New. We then move into the Station ID field and enter the unique identifier for the station, which in our case is ARIN01. We press Tab to move across to the station name, which we enter. Press Tab again will take us to the Qualifier field, where we enter Airport. We complete the country and district in the same way. We don't know the authority, so we'll leave that blank for now. We then click on Update to save this information, and Klimsoft tells us that the operation was successful, meaning it has successfully saved the station details. Next, we need to add the location for this station. You should notice at this point that the station details section is saying it's on record one, whereas the location section is still referring to record minus one. We click add new in the location section. Now we click into station ID and this should automatically bring up the station ID we entered in the details section. For the begin date we'll enter 1918. The end date we'll enter as four nines. This indicates that the location is still active. Now we enter the latitude and longitude. Note the latitude and longitude should be entered in decimal degrees. But if you have GPS coordinates in degrees, minutes and seconds, you can use the conversion facility provided with Klimsoft. To demonstrate this, let's assume that for the longitude, we know that it's 70 degrees, 34 minutes and 11 seconds east. We select east from the drop down list and that automatically calculates the longitude in decimal degrees. Note that we need to pick the E from the drop down list. Just typing an E does not force the calculation. Finally, we'll just enter the elevation. We don't know the drainage basin for this particular station. We click on update 
And again, Klimsop tells us that this operation was successful. So we click OK. Now we'll very quickly enter a second station in the same way. Now that we have two stations, we can show how it's possible to display the location information and the details for different stations at the same time. Notice that we're on record two in both parts of the form. Using the navigation buttons at the bottom of the details section allows us to move between the stations. So record one is Arin, record two is for Sita. However, if we use the navigation buttons at the bottom of the location section, this part of the form will move independently. So we can move to record two, we can move to Sita in the location section, but still remain on Arin in the details section. So when you're using this form, check the station ID fields in both sections of the form to make sure that all the information that you're viewing is for the same station. So to summarise, the key points from this demonstration are one, the station details and station location are linked via the station ID. It's possible to display the details and location for different stations on the same screen, so keep an eye on the station ID fields. Details must be entered and saved before the location is entered and saved. And remember to click on Add New when you want to enter new data.